All right, Abby, season opening win for you guys. Just give me a general thoughts on the game. I think we still have a lot of work to do, but I'm very proud of this team for um, just all the adversity we were able to um, keep intact and as together and play together as a team. Um, I'm just very proud of how, you know, third set, Amber goes down and we immediately came together and said, okay, I'm going to take this for Amber. I'm going to do this for Amber. Let's minimize the amount of movement she actually has to make. Like, let's get this perfect pass. Let's side out. Let's finish this game. And I think that just shows a lot of where we will be able to go from here and just the excitement of how great this team is. What went through your mind when you saw Amber end up getting hurt right there? Said, let's run a lot of ones, limit the amount of the movement she has to make, and uh, just put the ball down. <laughs> put the ball down and, uh, you know, keep the game going. So it was just immediate, immediate like, all right, here we go. What's next? What we got to do next? Uh, absolutely. Can you take, was the, is, it, was it, is it always that way the entire game during a volleyball match? Uh, I'd say, you know, sometimes you have this ability to get comfortable, but for us, we always make sure we are comfortable with the uncomfortable. So we are pushing each other, we're making sure we're on top of our game, reminding each other what we need to do. So to answer your question, no, I think um, we, or yes, technically, let me start over. To answer your question, yes, uh, we, <laughs> we, it is always like that for us because we have to stay focused, we have to keep reminding each other what we need done. You end up end of the night with six six kills. Too. So can you talk about your performance offensively? Um, I think Amber did a great job spreading it out. So when she set me, I saw what was open and smashed it. What was it like to be able to play with the, with the now the full might of a regular season match in the venue with this crowd? It was great. You know, everyone was angsty. We were ready to go, um, and I'm just very excited for what comes next tomorrow. McKenna ended up getting her 2,000 kill of the night when when the PA announcement ended up making what, what was kind of going through your head. I don't know if you recognize that right away. Or... To be honest, we did not hear that at first. And then we realized that's what they said and we, you know, shoved her, congratulated her. So she deserves it. Can you talk about McKenna's, about McKenna's offense tonight? She ended up getting ending tonight with 19 kills. Yeah, um, she's insane. She is t part robot and I love her for it because her energy never changes, you know? She has a consistency that I think every team needs, and luckily we're the ones that have her, so. So the first set, you guys were really kind of neck and neck, you know, fighting for that set, and then by the third, you kind of ran away with it. What were some improvements that your team made from first to third? Um, well, I think we stayed very consistent in our serving, and that was very important. It's always a serve and pass game, and so that just, you know, we improved it slightly by the second game, and then we stayed there. Um, everything else was just being smart in our offense, staying aggressive, um, and just really communicating on the blocking. I think we were trying to figure out how to handle a couple players, and we did that by the end. Two more. How would you say the team held up? Because I asked you before, you know, what do you think this team needed to do between the where I asked you before and then the first match of the season? Do you think you guys prepared yourself well for the start of the season? Yes. And I think we still have a lot of work to do. More practices will come where we are able to um, exploit uh, the issues that we have and the little things that we need to get better on. Um, so I'm just excited for what the future brings. You take on Kansas State tomorrow. What do you think this team needs to do in order to get the W tomorrow? I think we need to continue working on our serving and passing. Um, again, just be more consistent and just be more vocal as a team. You know, we have the few players that are always communicating, but we need a lot more people to step up as well. So it, it'll all come together. I know it. Awesome. Thank you, Abby. Thank you.